right guys, here's our third and probably final slab of the day. It's about 2.30 and I gotta pick up Bruno from school at three o'clock. So we'll probably call it quits right here after this one and pick back up tomorrow and finish that log off. So this is our widest one yet. At the widest point, 30 inches. Getting, getting nowhere near that with the LT35. 30 inches wide, that is just awesome right there. Just so I can get 30 inch wide slabs. It's just unreal. Slab right here, I see about three defects. We got a void right here in the middle. It's about a quarter of an inch deep right there. Some epoxy in there, we'll fill that right in. No big deal. Got a little cavity right there. This is probably an old branch right here. I just pulled out from when the tree was uh, a lot smaller. I could be wrong about that, but that's probably what that is. As it came out of the middle where the juvenile wood is. So uh, it's pretty interesting. And that hole actually goes all the way through. Once again, some epoxy right in there will cure that. Right here above it, got two more smaller voids. But I'm telling you, if you got some epoxy, some West Coast systems or whatever you use, and put some black tin in there and pour that in here, that's just gonna look like the natural void in the tree. That's gonna be nice and solid. And it, it will blend right in, especially with this darker wood. I've been looking forward to this day for a long time. Not only did I get to saw up this Chinese chestnut, but look how wide we're getting here now in this new mill. Well worth the money, guys. Well worth it to get these wide slabs and not have to trim them off and lose all that value. Look at that. Man, that is nice. 